mathpuzzles.blogspot.com. I'm your host, of course, Professor Rottweiler, and today we're joined by my assistant, Mr. Professor Lucan Rottweiler Jr., and a stuffed frog. Sometimes it's good to have a stuffed frog. So today we'll be working on puzzle number one. Welcome to the wacky world of number lines. So now you're about to look over my shoulder and we'll begin the lesson as soon as my assistant allows. I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? Okay. Lucan will be teaching, Mr. Professor Lucan will be teaching number lines. There you go. That is a number line. Here is zero. But let's back up for a minute. The first thing you'll notice when looking at this problem is a series of vocabulary words. Our first one that you might be unfamiliar with is sum. Sum simply, simply means added together. So when you see the word sum, think added together. The second one that might be confusing for you is consecutive. Consecutive simply means in a row. In a row. In a row. Very good, Professor Lucan. And the finally, the last word that might be confusing is integers. When you see the word integers, simply think whole numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, those are all whole numbers. All right. So this problem, as it reads, says, if the sum, or the numbers added together, of consecutive integers, so if you add all of the numbers in a row together, starting from negative 18, and going on through n, inclusive, is 60. What is the value of n? Okay, that's still a little confusing, but we'll break it down. First thing we want to do when we see problems like this is draw our number line, just like Professor Lucan did. All right, we always want to put a zero in on the number line to give us a sense of where we're starting. All right, the first thing we see is that we're going to begin at negative 18. And it asks us, to add up all of the numbers between negative 18 and n. And the sum of all those numbers added together, all the numbers between negative 18 and n, is supposed to equal 60. All right, the first thing we could do, if we wanted to do this in a very, very, very slow way, is simply add up all the numbers between 18 and n, negative 18 and n. So we could do eight, negative 18 plus negative 17 plus negative 16 plus negative 15 and so on, all the way to zero, and then we could add to that 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, until we reach a total of 60. Yeah. That would take forever, and on the SAT you only have a couple of minutes. Yeah. So we need to look for a shortcut. So here's the thing, here's the trick. If you think about this, Negative 1 added to 1. What does negative 1 plus 1 equal? It equals 0. Negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. Negative 2, negative two plus, negative, plus 2 also equals 0. So you can see that all the numbers on the left of 0, or the negative numbers added to the numbers on the right of 0, or the positive numbers, they always equal zero. Negative one plus one is zero, negative two plus two is zero, negative three plus three is zero. So knowing that, knowing that, we can take all of the numbers from negative 18 to zero and add them to all the numbers from zero to 18. So we have all of these numbers added to all of these numbers. And the sum of that is zero. So we know all of these numbers right here added together are zero. So now all we need to do is figure out, starting from 18... I can't, I can't do 18. I'm almost done, assistant. Just a minute. Beginning from 18, we just need to figure out how many numbers in a row add up to 60. So the next number after 18 is 19, 20, 21, etc. So let's just start with those three. We have 19 plus 20 plus 21. And if you add those together... You get 2, 4, 5, 6, 60. So that's your total. Now, if you know, the question is asking, what is the value of n, or the last number? So the last number in this series, from negative 18 all the way through 21, is 21. <laughs> so the answer to this problem is 21. 
All right, camera crew, if you would back out, I will sign off. All right, friends. Until next time, this is Professor Rottweiler saying goodbye, good luck, and good math. Thank you.